Hi everyone, it's Alyssa and welcome to You Can Learn Math. So today's discussion is going to be about the point-slope form of a line. Point-slope form. In a previous video, we already discussed the y-intercept form of a line. y equals mx plus b. If that's what you're looking for, there's a link in the description below. Please go down there. You can find more about the slope intercept form of a line. I dare say that's probably the one most people are familiar with. It's pretty straightforward. Let's do a little quick sketchy here so that if you have the y intercept, and this really doesn't like me doing dots with the rainbow pen. I don't know why. I can do a dot with just blue. It's weird. Okay, so I have the y intercept, like you care. But anyway, <laughs> the y intercept, and I have the slope, and okay, I can draw my line easy peasy. Well, what if we're not given the y-intercept? What if we don't know that? Well, there's a couple of options that you have. One of them, which is the one we're talking about today, isn't that convenient, is the point-slope form of a line. My chair is squeaking. I hope it's not picking that up. Point-slope form. Now, when you see it in your textbook or on the board, eh, it looks a little, looks a little shady. Oh, okay, what's going on here? Anytime you start throwing more variables in, it can be a bit daunting at first or just make you a little mm, apprehensive, shall we say, when you're looking at it. But all this does, see, we still have our M, just like with the Y-intercept form. M still means the same thing. It means the slope, same thing, okay? And we still have our just little X's and Y's that stay by themselves. Our addition is the Y1 and the X1. So here's what that is. If I have a line, and I'm going to actually take the time and make this lovely and pretty and a proper little graph. It's a happy little graph. Okay. So let's say I know there's a line that goes through the point, and I'm just using my grid marks here, it goes through the point 2, 4, and it has a slope of negative 2. So it goes down 2 and to the right one. And that's what I know about it. Come on. Okay. So there's, there's my line. Whoa. <laughs> Ta-da. There we go. Okay, so there is my line. 2, 4, and it's a slope of negative 2. What is the equation of that line? Well, I can use my point-slope form. I just realized my circle went right perfectly over the parentheses. I couldn't do that again if I tried. All right, so I can plug the information that I have into the point-slope form, and I'll have my equation. Simple as that. So I have, I'm sorry, I have squirrels in my attic that sound like they're having just like a massive house party up there. I don't even know. <sighs> Craziness. Okay. They're probably just on my roof. It sounds like they're in my attic. All right, I digress. Where were we? We were talking about points and slopes. Isn't that so much more interesting than squirrels? What is our point here? Our point is 2, 4. 2, 4. 2 is my x value. 4 is my y. So that's what I'm going to plug in because I have my little, my little equation. And I need three pieces of information to make it work. I need a y value, an x value, and a slope. And I have my x value is 2, my y value is 4, and my slope is negative 2. And there's the equation of that line. That's it. Not so scary after all, right? Now what happens if I want to put this into y equals mx plus b format? Well, let's do that. So we have y minus 4 equals negative 2 times x minus 2. First thing I would do is distribute this. 
they are definitely having a party up there. And y minus 4 equals negative 2x plus 4. Okay? All right. And so then my next and last step to get y by itself to be in our lovely good old y equals mx plus b format, I'm going to add 4 here to get rid of that and add 4 to the other side. And I get y equals negative 2x plus 8. So, so the slope, as you notice, didn't change. It's still negative 2 right there, just as it was. So that's correct. And this says the y-intercept is going to be 8. Well, I actually drew this fairly accurately. You can see right up here that y-intercept is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. It is. So that's accurate. So what are the advantages of the point slope form? You know, just just what we're saying here that we are um, I don't have the y-intercept. All I have is a point and I have the slope. I can still write the equation of that line. As simple as that. So let's do a couple of examples just to make just to make sure everybody is on the same page. I have got to put some WD-40 on this chair. Really hope you're not hearing that because it's driving me batty. Right, so if I have, and I'm not going to be quite so precise this time, let's say if I have a point here, eh, no, 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 no. Let's put the point over here. Let's say the point is, I'm just picking some random numbers, negative 5, 4, and I have a slope of, I don't know, negative 6 is my slope. So it's going to look something like this. We're just getting a, a visual idea. This is not accurate or to scale at all. So my little point slope form again looks like this. I'm looking for an X, a Y, and an M, which is a slope, and the X and Y are a point. I have my point, negative 5 and 4, so let's plug those in. And this is the one thing you want to be careful of. And it's right, probably guessed it, right here. It's x minus that x value. This is a negative x value, negative 5. So it's x minus a negative 5, or we write it again x plus 5. Okay, so be very careful of that. And then I'm also going to just stick my slope there, negative 6, and there I've written it. Okay, the same thing is true if we're going the other direction. If you are given a line in point slope form, you're just given this of saying y plus 3 equals 7 times x minus 5. And the question is, what is a point on this line and what is its slope? Well, the slope one's very straightforward. It's right here on the outside, 7. Slope is 7. When they ask for the point, this is where you have to be careful and keep an eye on your signs. Because remember, point slope form says y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So if I'm up here and I've got this y plus 3, then my y coordinate for that point is negative 3. And my x coordinate is x minus 5. My x coordinate is 5. So it's, it's pretty straightforward. I think when you're plugging things into this equation, you're like, oh, I plug the x in there, I plug the y in there, I plug the slope in there, I am done, woohoo, I get to go home. But when you're going backwards, it can get a little, a little like lopsided in your head sometimes, if you know what I'm saying, where you're looking at the x minus 5 and remembering, oh, that means that the x coordinate I mean, the x coordinate of this point is a positive 5. So please, 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 please be mindful of that and be careful. Very, very easy to do, especially once you get the hang of this and you feel very confident and you're like, I got this, and you kind of whip through things very quickly. 
I, I know I say this a lot, but it's true. I mean, everyone has things they don't know. No one knows everything. So if you miss a question on a test because you didn't know how to do it, that's one thing. And you're like, okay, well, you know, it happens. Everybody has things they don't know. But if you miss it because you did something too quickly or you didn't pay attention to, oh, what happened with my mouse there? You don't pay attention to your signs. And so you know, something, you get the opposite thing wrong. And you're like, ah, I knew how to do this. So frustrating. We don't want that to happen. All right. So just one last one, just for good measure, just to make sure. So if I have this equation and I'm going to use my purple blue galaxy woo, pen and I say this is the point slope form of this line and it is y minus 8 equals 4 times x plus 2. What is the slope? Slope is 4. What is the point? I didn't get the galaxy after all. I'm slightly disappointed. Just plain purple. Who wants just plain purple? Come on. Galaxy pin here. Ooh, there we go. Galaxy pin. What is our point? Remember, it is x minus x1. And this is a positive right here. So our point is negative 2, positive 8. Negative 2, positive 8, slope of 4. Okay, so that is point slope form. I'm sorry if I found, if I sound, if I found, I'm sorry if I sound stuffy. The pollen is off the chart this couple weeks where I live. And so it's all I can do not to sneeze in your ear or to sniffle. And I am trying not to make any egregious errors, but the pollen does give me, I call it allergy brain. So <laughs> I promise it's a thing. It's an actual medical condition. It's a technical term. Look it up. So that was today's uh, lesson on point slope form of a line. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. If you have any other algebra related topics that you need help with, we have a lot of videos. I say we, it's me. I have a lot of videos. I, I have a lot of videos on this channel. Uh, please feel free. I encourage you, go, go watch videos uh, in the playlist or in the channel itself. And please like, share, and subscribe. Helps a bunch. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.